<laughs> Alright, so I'm back. I got more stuff. So we got Destiny Comic Collection Volume 1 and Star Trek Discovery, the Lady Kalis. So I just I I breezed through this because that was because I just wanted to get a look a feel for it and stuff, and I liked it. It's basically like the Grimoire from D1 before they took it all away. And you get different stories inside of it. I'll go into that then. This, I just finished reading this. Because I love Star Trek Discovery. And I'm waiting on season two to come in for me at the library to watch. Uh, this is a hell of a good origin story for Takuma. Yeah, Takuma, yeah, Takuma and Vok. And the Ship of the Dead as well. Like this, oh, this is so, so good. Like, I mean, this is really good. Like, I could see, I like mythos stories. Let me show. Yeah, that's who contributed to it. There's more. Well, maybe not. No, that was it. What this book does, what this story does, is it's a, uh, there we go, that's it. Yeah, it's a, it's an origin slash flashback film, film, yeah, film, <sighs> comic. When I read comics, they play out like a movie in my head. That's why I always get it confused sometimes, but for me, like, it's a film. But the artwork for this is just phenomenal. Like, I was blown away by how good this shit was like like it just the artwork on it is beautiful the storyline really captivates you oh they're all by the same artist Declan Chalve and Jordi Belair and there's Discovery love that ship I love this show man like I saw season one Season one had me hooked. Because it's so good. Shit on the comic. But yeah, this... Oh, man. If you want to know about uh, their origin and whatnot, definitely pick this up at your library. Because I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Unless you're one of those people that does not like Star Trek Discovery. Like, the, even the cover arts for these are phenomenal. Like, oh. Love that. Like, everything has a story to it. And uh, that's what they really did. Like, even his armor that he, wear, he wears, that has a story behind it as well. Everything has a story in this book and I love it. Even the Light of Kalis, which is what it's about. Literally, that has an origin story as well. Everything that she wanted to know basically uh, years before Battle of the Binary Stars and after is covered in this for the most part in regards to Takuma, Vok, and Ship of the Dead. But yeah, like this. Oh, this was so good. Mm. Like, I love this. This is really good shit. It is sort of political. But not, like, hardcore political. It's more in the terms of, uh... Like, it... It... Downplays the... Politics. So you can understand what's going on. Basically, it's like, uh... Uh, TNG politics with the Klingons. That's what I was trying to think of. So this is a really good book. Definitely an 11 out of 10 for me. And this, I like this, but I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to wait a while to pick up, um, I'll wait for it to be an omnibus. But yeah, the inside cover, that's what it is on the front and the back. But yeah, uh, I showed you this, so... That's already been used, obviously. You get all these 
so. So you get your insights in here. Oh, this is the one that has a bunch of art in it. Okay, I remember. There's insights, behind the scenes, storyboards, um, just, it covers everything. And I'll show you, there we go. Artwork and whatnot from different artists. And I'll show you the artist in one second. Okay, let's, that's not who I wanted. Nope, come on. So there's a table of contents. So if you like playing Destiny, and you love the lore of Destiny, this is definitely going to be something that you want in your collection. And it is a hardcover. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. This shows you, when you get in this, it shows you the writers, the artist, the color artist, the cover artist, the letterers, the art direction, graphic designers, editors, producer, and creative directors for each story. So, wow, come on. Oh, there we go. Sun's too bright. I'm sorry. So you can check all them out and see if you like them or not. So, and the first one's Osiris. I love this cover. This was beautiful when they debuted it. But I didn't get the comic for Osiris because I was like, eh, I'll wait a while. And then this popped up in my library. So, uh, Destiny comic collection. It is embossed. The Bungie logo as well. Volume 1 is embossed. This is gloss. It's definitely really nice. There's the back of it. So, yeah, this is definitely good shit. Like, I love it. I will be, I might get this down the road, I don't know yet. This did come out this year, 2019. And I think this came out last year or this year. I'm not entirely sure. Because I was, I was just leafing through it. Ah, last year, July 2018. So they're both, well, this one's a year old. But yeah, these are phenomenal comics. Like, I love them. I love comic books. I really do. I am a comic book fiend. I don't own a lot of comics, to be honest. I only own a handful of them. Because if I own... Because I like... I'm the type that I like to rent stuff from the library, read it, return it. That's how I am. I don't need to necessarily own it. Because then I can look back and be like, Oh, okay, now I remember what the fuck happens. Plus, I got my... Facebook memories to tell me what happened as well. Because I've read so much shit. But I'm still behind on stuff. Because my library's got, you know, over... I have 23 branches to choose from. So you're talking at least a good thousand different comics to choose from over that. And if I rent... And there's no limitation either. I can rent... I could rent 50 comics... Literally 50 of these type of comics. And that would cover a good couple years worth of stories to read. And I'd be all caught up. <laughs> so, there you go. Would I recommend it to you and friends? Obviously, because if you are into gaming, this is a must-have for sure. Unless you don't really care about lore and mythos. If you are into lore and mythos, these are definitely for you. If you like Trek, definitely for you. If you like Destiny, definitely for you. If you aren't into Destiny at this point, that's cool. I totally get that Destiny fatigue does set in. And it is boring. Uh, if you don't like Star Trek Discovery, it's not for you. If you love Star Trek Discovery like I do, or you just like new shit altogether, you know, this is definitely for you. Um, there is a lot of... it's. This is a damn good set right here. I want to buy this, but I'm not really sure if I want to or not yet. So, we'll see. Um, if you don't like science fiction and fantasy 
this isn't for you. If you aren't in the comic books, this definitely ain't for you. Um, well, I don't know who the fuck this is from. It's by Bungie. But it doesn't say... Yeah, it doesn't say who it's by. I'm going to guess IDW, I would say. Maybe, I don't know. I know this is from IDW, because this is IDW. So, if you don't like those companies, they ain't for you. Um, if you don't like to read, definitely not for you. Um, if you don't like anything new, definitely not for you. But if you like everything I just said... Definitely for you. So, I will be back a little later. I gotta charge my phone up and shit because recording does drain the battery. So, I'll be back. <laughs>